Hi everyone and welcome back to our last 2016 video. I cannot believe another year has yet passed us by and I am just oh, so ready for a new beginning. But anyway, I have little baby Daniel here with me and I'm sorry if this is a little bit of a funny angle, but I have him on my bed and um, I wanted to go ahead and do a changing video with him while I talk about some things that I really just want to get off my chest and leave them in the past and just start anew with 2017 and just, just making it a brand new beginning for myself, for my heart, for my mental health and I'm going to try not to make this a very long video, but I am going to get just a little bit personal here. If you guys would like to continue listening and watching, then I appreciate that. But before I get into all of those sad details, I want to call them sad because this year has been a very sad one for me. Um, I am going to show you guys what I'm going to be dressing him in. I bought this about two or three weeks ago, and um, I know it's past the holiday season, but regardless, I think this is a very wintry outfit, because um, you have the penguins, and um, this other one, he says, cool little dude, so it's definitely not Christmassy, it's very winter-like and snow-like, so... I thought it would still be appropriate for him to wear this outfit. So we will put him in this. I'm going to go ahead and move him around so his eyes don't look so black. It almost seems like he doesn't have any of the white coloring in his eyes, but I promise he does. Anyway, there's a million thoughts racing in my head, and I hope that I say everything that I need to say and that I don't complicate it. Um, I'm mainly doing this because it's very therapeutic for me. And I just need to, I feel like I need to release this bad energy so that I can start the 2017 clean. I know it sounds a little crazy and I understand if some of you cannot relate, but that is just how I feel. So I decided to make this last video in 2016. But anyway... I'll go ahead and get started. So, I'll talk while I get the baby dressed. And I apologize if I do pause. Um, by pausing, I mean like I'm not changing him anymore. But I'll um, start off by taking his little socks off. So, I don't know if... I, I know a lot of people follow my art on Instagram, on Facebook. But I don't know if you guys noticed this year... But I wasn't producing a lot of art, and especially a lot of art that is available for the public like it once was. This year was very hard for me, for both mentally and spiritually. So I had a very hard time painting, and it was awful because I had a custom list. And people were getting upset with me because I wasn't delivering at a timely manner. And I totally understand. Um, I once had to wait for a custom for two years. So I totally understand what that's like. But it's not that I didn't want to make your baby or, you know. is that mentally I just couldn't paint. And I felt like if I tried to paint it was forced out. I tried to explain this to someone as like art. Art cannot be forced. Art you have to be in a creative mindset and you have to be ready to, well, you have to be in the mood to paint. You can't just sit and paint. And I was not in that mindset and I did not, I did, I couldn't paint. And I couldn't explain this to my custom, so I would force myself to paint. And thankfully, I feel like I did create some very beautiful babies this year. I'm very proud which, of, and I'll go ahead and include some clips of them if I can. And if I can't, I apologize. But, um, yeah, so 
it was it was a just a bad start of the year and a lot of you might be wondering why why was it so bad why did you have this art block in your head i think it was more first, first of all my living situation meaning where i was living not with who i was living but where i was living and then secondly i do have depression and um i struggle with severe social anxiety and probably some other things which i have not been diagnosed and no, that doesn't mean i'm crazy but you know i've just gone through a lot my whole life anyway let's go ahead and dress the baby because i'm just not even doing the changing video <sighs> if you guys follow me or my wife you guys knew or know that her and I and Tambre used to live in this very little tiny home. I don't, it's not even considered a home. It's considered more like a mother-in-law suite kind of thing. In the back of... So this little suite is located in the back of my mother's house. So we made the regrettably mistake of moving there. Because my mom wanted us to be closer. So... Keep in mind that I lived in Sacramento, so this is California, and my mom lived all the way in Southern California, which I've done the math is about 400 miles. It takes about eight, my, eight hours on the road to get there from Sacramento to Southern California. I thought it was going to be a fantastic time. In all honesty, I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought it was going to be this magical time magical year to live with my mom and please keep in mind I turned 27 years this year so I was 26 when I moved to my mother's house and then um, I turned 27 there but anyway um, my wife agreed to us moving because she thought it would help with my depression and I would probably just be happier and just more relaxed and just happy the reason why my depression is or was as bad as it it's not that bad anymore but the reason why it was bad is I lost my father in a very tragic accident it's been very hard since then it's been uh six years now and I know people say time heals all wounds but that I really don't think that's true but anyway, so yeah, we moved there on October of 2014, and we finally moved out in June of 2015, so we were there for like eight months, and those eight months were awful, 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 awful. It started off sour. It went sour from the moment we arrived there with our moving truck and it just got worse and worse as time went by <sighs> so I just it was a nightmare it was ev everything that I never thought it would be it was worse than when I lived with my mother as a child <sighs> so of course I tried to deny it to myself that no, 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 things are fine. So I think that's why we spent our time there for so long. Because you would think, well, why didn't you move out sooner? I just thought it would get better. And it did seem to get better, but it got worse. And thankfully, we eventually did make the decision to move, which you guys know we moved. We moved four hours north from... um southern california so now we live in fresno california and slowly things have been getting a lot better and we're definitely finally just more relaxed more happy and yes we do not speak to my mother um because of things that happened when we lived there things that were said the way we were treated and 
it's so sad because they try or my mother tries to make herself the victim but she really fails to see our point of view and our situation and that I think that was the biggest problem if she would just put herself in our shoes for just a second I think she would understand but she didn't do it she's very stubborn and anyway I will not go into details to what happened because I could make a video that is hours and hours long but I really feel like I needed to make this video to put this out there because I feel like it'll be the only way that I move on and I know that my mom watches my channel so she might even listen to me talk and maybe then maybe then she will realize but yeah so it was an awful year so the stress of where I lived the stress of dealing with my family with you know them being upset over what was going on was just a battlefield in my mind it was awful so I couldn't work it was difficult and I know you guys saw that we had Disneyland passes too so of course we would go there a lot because we would es that was the only escape we had from the awful situation we were in so so I think that's why we went to Disneyland a lot we went there almost every day so we had season passes so it was definitely affordable cheap when you have season passes you can go there almost every day and we lived an hour away from Disneyland and gas wasn't that bad and we had free parking so and we would eat before we got there so we wouldn't spend a lot of money on food so so yeah that was that and now that I live here in Fresno California um, not only do I have a bigger house but um, the family is finally happy and all of these emotions are coming back, these happy emotions of wanting to... Did you guys notice that now I am collecting Reborns? This was not in my mind at the beginning of this year. I It was coming to the point where I really wanted to leave the hobby. I wanted to try to find a way to refund all of my customs and just leave the hobby behind but I am so glad things changed because that is not the person that I am that's not how I feel about this hobby I love these babies I love creating them I love collecting them and I have um two babies on the well two babies that I have adopted that I'm still paying off but yeah I hope this video makes sense and I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy, but I really wanted to put a, out there why I haven't been making as many babies this year, why I finally decided to not take customs, and why I've been so quiet. I know that I make videos on my YouTube channel, and I only make them when I'm in the mood. I don't make them because I need to make them, but I make them only when I'm in the mood. And if you guys notice, recently I have been making a lot more videos, especially after I moved from Riverside. And that is because I'm happier and I want to make these videos and I want to share this with you guys. So that is mainly it. I know this is a very long video, but I think I have said everything I want to say. In all honesty, guys, I feel a million times better just saying this, letting it all out. It's so therapeutic and it's so good for you to talk. Anyway, it'll be 2017 in a couple of hours here in California, so I'm very excited. There are a lot of changes that I want to make. Um, I haven't felt this way in almost three years, like wanting to change my life for the better, really just make the best of it. Um, I plan on working on my health 
Oh my gosh, I kid you not, guys. Being a reborn artist is a curse because I have put on so much weight. And um and I think a lot of reborn artists that do this for a living and stay home can relate because a lot of the artists that I have talked to or my wife has spoken to, they admit that they have put on weight. So I know 2017, everybody says they want to lose weight, but I really want to lose weight for my own health. And um, yeah, I don't need this extra fat on me. <laughs> so I will be doing that. And then of course, um, I will be more involved in my reborn collecting because it makes me happy and being involved uh, making videos on my channel because I love sharing what I love with other people. And I do plan to finally make the move and go back to school. Um, some of you might, some of you might know, I have already graduated from college. I have two degrees, one in bio, what was I was going to say biology, one in neurobiology and the second one in psychology. So I definitely plan to go back to school. Um, I'm unsure where I'm going next, but I'm going somewhere. So yes, I will not be painting once that starts. But in the meantime, I will be painting and I will be having dolls available for adoption for the public. Finally, I know I hardly ever do that, um, especially this year. So yeah, so anyway, that is my mini rant or mini uh, counseling session with you guys. Thank you so much if you've stuck till the end and you've listened to me. I really appreciate that. Um, I hope you guys don't see me any different. I'm still the same Jackie. I just, it's just more on a personal level now. Um, anyway, guys, I cannot wait to make my next video in 2017. Having a brand new start, brand new eyes, brand new everything. Um, I hope and I wish you guys also a amazing 2017. Let's make the best of it. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait to share more with you guys, like I've said, and uh, just continue building this Reborn community. And I know that even though I will start school soon, I will not leave this Reborn community because having these babies and talking to you guys is so therapeutic and it's so amazing and it's so powerful. And just thank you guys for being there. So Anyway, um, I will talk to you guys in 2017. Bye.